Well, hello everyone and welcome back to another video and something a little bit different today because today you may be able to spot that we have 11 and I say 11 because of course Alpine revealed two liveries and we have 11 images across the um, the bottom here um, they've just uploaded in random order so I'm just going to go from left to right We'll start with the Alpha Tower. Oh, before we get into, sorry, um, I should explain the um, the slightly different format to last year's tier livery. Years. I did this one for last year. And actually, got actually did, um, did very well actually um, in terms of use. I thought I'd do another one. Um, the best livery since sliced bread. That 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 category is but uh, but I've changed these middle character category because it was previously great good okay and then did you design this and pay that category is still that i've changed it to good okay and, and meh. i just think that you know um you need sort of a middle category um as opposed to have an okay um i think i've just 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 to change it up they're pretty much the same categories it's just i've wor reworded that um than last year so let's get started with the Alpha Tauri. Now, where to put the Alpha Tauri? Um, that's a good question. I, I like the Alpha Tauri design. I, 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 I feel that the Alpha Tauri's got better. Is it in the best livery since sliced bread, though? I don't want to criticise Alpha Tauri, but at certain angles they are missing sponsors that would probably the missing sponsors would probably give a bit more like bring that car a little bit more to life because having just Alpha Tari as the one sponsor and also from the side they've just got Alpha Tari word and then some fashion statement as well so you know it, it's not the best livery since sliced bread but I think it's better than last year's livery. Is it better than the first one? I I keep I'm actually trying to remember the first Alpha Tari livery. But the point is, I actually like it. I think it's, I, I don't think it's. I think if they had a few more sponsors and maybe tweaked a few bits on the side, then we're probably looking up here in the best livery so it's like that. So I think it just goes in the good. The same is going to be said of the. Aston Martin. I'm going to eat my own words here because I said, and I quote from la well, I quote, I, I, I misquote um, from last year, I, don't, I can't remember the exact words, but I said on the lines of that if they got rid of BWT and had the lime green one, it would be in the best of recent sliced bread. However, there's a problem with the Alpha, t the, excuse me, the Aston Martin. Uh, well, there's 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 two things I don't like about this car. One of them is minor, uh, and that's the Aramco logo on the back. Now, apart from the fact um, the Saudi line, um, the fact they're a state-owned oil company, and you know about atrocity, atrocious human rights record in Saudi Arabia. Apart from that, apart from that small thing that they've done, I'd, I'd prefer they just to kept the green on the rear wing as opposed to have that um, light green to blue thing that Aramco have. Apart from that, the big problem I have with the Aston Martin livery is the colour of the, the shade of the green because uh, I don't like it. After so, uh, obviously last year I just seen that car, th th seen that shade of green for the first time. I don't like it, to be honest. I've and the picture on the you can see the little square on the screen is of that um, is off that on track. It looks blaring. Now you could argue even the color of the the the, the color is it's okay. It's not a great color, color shade of green. Um, I feel that the liver on a whole, they've done a fantastic job with it though. So I, overall, I'm putting it in good to balance that out. If they sorted the shade of green, it, it's the best livery since sliced bread um, as well. And also 
changed the rear wing, the back of the rear wing with the Arrow and Co as well. Now Haas is next, and you'll notice you might be able to see on your screen it's the plain white livery. Um, now, for some bizarre reason, I can't remember. I've looked at my last year's one, and the Haas was in that tier last year. Don't know why I said that. Um, whatever, obviously, there's a lot of stuff going on with Ukraine and whatnot at the moment. Hopefully, um, well, we can get peace um, eventually out of that um, as quickly as possible. But um, even before with the Euro calibre, it looked bland anyway. And the, the, and the, you can actually argue that they've done a better job by removing that livery. Um, yes. They designed it in paint by removing the Ural Kali Russian flag overnight, so um, it, therefore we, we got the we got the c c correct category for them. Um, and the answer the answer to the did you design this in paint and on this livery the answer is yes. Mercedes, this is a difficult one because I this is where it's going to get controversial because. I don't like it. I don't. I'm not a fan of this. I was never a fan of the silver livery. Um, to be honest, I always preferred the black livery. I've always thought it did represented Mercedes better. Um, I I just I just don't like it. To be fair, um, not. I've never been a fan of also the Petronas um, sort of cyan blue color. I've never been a fan of that color either. Um, as well, um, yeah. And I'd, 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 to be, if had this livery been in black, would I have liked it better? It's a tough one because the livery on this whole is missing a few things here and there. Um, like it doesn't have that many sponsors anyway. Um, as well, the Mercedes logo, little logos don't quite really appear as the cars going past anyway. Unlike they don't have the same presence the AMG AMG logos did. I'm going to put him. I'm 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 torn between Mayor and OK. Um, I don't think it's it's not it, it's not it's not on Hass level. It's but it's not up here. It's not a good livery for me personally. I know you're probably going to disagree, and this is where this is where the comments are. What the comments are for? Because I think I th I'm going to put it okay, but it's on it's on the border between okay and meh. Next up, McLaren. Now, a lot of people like the McLaren livery um, I'm gonna put this in okay and the, the reason why the McLaren livery goes in okay it's not I don't particularly the, 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 the from the front it looks from the front view it's up here but the side view is horrific it's down here I'm gonna put okay it's ahead of the Mercedes it, it's better than I think it's better livery than the Mercedes but it's so bland on the side. There's clearly a lack of sponsorship on that te team. Even though that the team's racked with sponsors, no one's willing to pay for that big sponsor placement on the side. And the way they've designed it doesn't fit well. I think they need more black usage on the side of the car um, as well. Um, I personally, yeah, I put, uh, you know, it, it's it's the change that McLaren needed. The the colours that they had the previous, the darker blue and the papery orange, got a bit stale. But the way it works, it, it, the delivery, I don't think works quite as well. It doesn't blend. It doesn't have that natural blend between the papier, the black, and the blue um, as well. I don't don't get me wrong. I like what they've done with the uh, rear wing part where the blue comes off here, but then the, it, after that, it's just like well, they probably spent up till five o'clock designing the rear wing, and then did the rest of the car in about one minute. That's what it feels like. And it's going to be worse. Uh, for those of you, by the way, 
play the F1 game, it's going to be worse because that whole entire side is just going to be blank, pretty much. Apart from those four me tiny little sponsors on the middle, that's all you're going to get um, as well. Red Bull. You could arguably say, did you design it in paint? But I'm going to put it in mayor purely because the Red Bull livery is... The Red Bull livery isn't an atrocious livery. It's just that it's the same livery from last year. And I actually think that it's got slightly worse with the Bybit logo as well. Because they've liked they they've put it they put the Bybit logo on in five minutes um, as well. So it doesn't what I've seen of the Red Bull so far is that the Bybit logo on the front wing doesn't sit well. And then you've got the yellow bit on the front wing, which looks atrocious as well. It looked atrocious in the renders. It's slightly better out on track because there's less of it, but it's still gopping in style for me personally. Red Bull, I don't know where they can go. I don't know how they can improve this livery because it's the same livery that they've been using for a while now. Whether or not they then decide to go back to re a redesign based on their drinks or whatever in the future, I don't know how they're going to approach that, but they need something different at Red Bull because having the same livery is getting very dull now and they, it, it's drastically need to change. Uh, as I say, it would be down here in the bottom with Haas, but I'm keeping it up there in the mare purely because, you know, in actual fact, tell you what, no, tell you what, I've had enough with Red Bull. You're going in with the, it's going in with the Haas. I've changed my mind. It's going in with the Haas. I don't care if it's an iconic livery anymore. Uh, I've got, I've, I've said this last year, um, last year I'm pretty sure I did, um, that they use the same liveries time and time again. It's now time to, um, it's time for a change for Red Bull. New car, and they haven't grasped that opportunity. Next up are the two Alpine liveries. We're going to rate both Alpine liveries. Yes. Now, Alpine were in the... Alpine last year were in the good category. And we haven't... Bear in mind, we haven't seen this pink livery a lot... Uh, well, no, we've seen the Alpine. Right? This pink one here is the only one we haven't seen out on track yet because Alfa Romeo showed some pictures and um, they did something on Sunday I think um, I don't think I think that was at Barcelona I think they had a private session at Barcelona on Sunday um, to do something this pink one is a bit bland on the front I don't like what they've done with the map fray thing they kept it red I'd have changed that to pink I don't like the colour of pink that they've used because it doesn't sit well with the blue um, as well. It, 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 yes. This pink one, I, th I agree, and I run a poll asking my Twitter followers which one uh, they preferred, and it was 100% in favour of the blue one. So, in this point, the bear in mind we haven't seen it on track. The pink one's worse, especially from the front, it looks very bland. Um, as well, so the pink one goes in mare. It's not, it's not, it's better than the Hass and the Red Bull, but it's by far nowhere near um, any of this lot. The Alpine, the, the normal one, the one we're going to see after round three onwards, is actually it looks better on track than they did in the renders. Um, so I'm going to put it in. The, I know that's probably controversial having McLaren and Alpine on the same level, but I feel like that they are on the same level for different reasons. The McLaren is there because of their lack of ambition to design it. The Alpine just scrape along with the Mercedes just scrapes into this category. I actually think that it, look, it looks okay out on track. It's a slightly dark. It looks slightly darker the blue, um, but which sort of match and the pink which sort of flows better on the track it's still not great it's still not in the good enough to be in the good category this map ray thing looks horrific and um, they probably could have done a lot better stuff with the design 
but it flows a lot better than the pink one does basically as well so yes then we've got the Alpha Romeo, the one that's on released yet yesterday. Now, originally, I saw this livery, and I did think to myself, "Do I like this or not?" But I've seen this again. I've seen it all the angles. It's going in the best livery since sliced bread again. Alpha Romeo, the past two seasons have had banging looking cars. If the only, and I say the only criticism is is that the Alfa Romeo were marking on the side. I don't, I prefer the logo. That's the only criticism I've got of that car. Other than that, I'm getting retro vibes from the Marlborough times from the late, when Alfa Romeo were previously in Formula 1 back in the 1980s um, as well. It's It looks stunning from the rear. It looks good as well. I like what they've done with the, um, the Italian flag on the rear as well. Um, and the white to red transition with it has actually has a slither of black which makes the car flow that makes the colour so, flow so good um, for me and I personally like that car a lot um, as well Williams in actual fact we come to the team two teams that were in this bottom category last year now that was a mistake for Williams because I the Williams Livery actually grew on me, and actually, the William. I'd, lo I'd like to correct myself now that the Williams, the Williams livery of last year, was should have actually been in this category. Okay, the Williams this livery this year is worse, I don't, and I say it looks better on track. I'm not going to lie, but it's not great. I don't like. The, it doesn't flow that well they haven't been able to Duracell have come on but they still haven't got more sponsor placements and I've checked Williams's Williams's um sponsor list they've got loads of sponsors but they don't appear they don't to be to be anywhere on the car what are they paying Williams to sponsor them are they just paying for a website sponsor or something like one P or something I, I don't know but for it's worse than last year's car. I'm not a fan of the design. Um, after the, with the, they've introduced red, which has no thing. The, saving it from the digits to design this flake because there's some little flakes that I like on the top. Um, there, that's that's actually an okay thing. So that's saving it from the bottom category, but it's still horrific um, in that respect as well um they just need well they they needed more they need more sponsors basically and that way they can they grow the car um having a nice flown car because williams haven't had a great looking car since martini departed them all those years ago now and then the final final uh car is the ferrari and it's going in the top category as well the best livery since sliced bread these two both have one thing that i don't like with them if they sorted that one thing out then i would be then that they would be the best livery since since um of all time as well i'll explain what i don't like with the ferrari there's just one thing and it's the rear wing it's blank and I want them to put Sant if they put Santander on the rear wing, which hopefully they do, um, as well. But I have a sneaky feeling that they won't, um, which it would be a shame um, because it's an advertising spot. If they put Santander on the rear wing, then it would complete the car. It doesn't make that rear wing because if you look at the rear wing, it just looks a bit empty there. It needs that Santander sponsor or whatever sponsor that Ferrari. It just needs a sponsor there. Um, on the front of the rear wing because it looks very a little bit bland but the rest of the car it's an iconic design I call I actually in fact they've copied my uh, driver career mode design from uh, season four because uh, that had a black rear wing it's a very ret both of these cars are based on retro designs because um, the McLaren of course back in the early 1990s late 1980s had a black rear wing 
um, as well, and I think early 1980s as well. So, you know, it's an old style Ferrari. It's a thousand times better than the dribble they came up with last year um, as well. So, that completes my tier list. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If I get a lot of comments on this, then I might make a reaction video to discuss all the comments as well. But if you are new around here, then please do get subscribed for weekly Formula One content. Until the next video, then I'll see you next time. Take care. Thanks so much for watching. Enjoy your day and goodbye.